I'll show you how to modify your Glenn's Retro Show Tron joystick to get some cool LED effects. Okay, we're going to need to um, make some changes on this controller for the uh, Tron joystick. From the factory, it comes with the LED wires hooked up to the VCC connection on the board, which is 5 volts DC, 5 volts positive, um, constant 5 volts. What we want to do is take this terminal and switch it to the other side of the terminal block so it's on the outside I'm just using a pin to lift up this little catch and we can pull it out theoretically it's hard to see what I'm doing It's also hard to hold things without dropping them. Okay, so we pull that out from this side and turn the terminal block over and put it into the opposite terminal. it in all the way until it clicks into place and now we're ready to go so we'll plug this back into the header and now it's plugged into that terminal is the um, joystick LED um, terminal we just used so when we program the LEDs using the mode button, which is this red wire, second one from the top over here, um, right under the black wire, on the outside of the terminal strip. Trace that to here, and I have also the ground connection here. All I did is I plugged wires in from my magnetic door contact from the security system, um, which is a, a normally open, or acts just like a, a button, a normally open contact. So when it senses magnetic field, it will close that contact just like pressing a button or a switch. Okay, the way I have this hooked up, it's not very professional. Um, I just took the ends of the wires, folded them up a little bit, and stuck them into the connections that they give you. Now, the connectors that are on here, they're just really small uh, female spade connectors. I don't have any of the, the male spade connectors that size, so I just figured I'd stick some bare wire in. Uh, it'll do the job. I wouldn't do this for any of the arcade buttons or anything critical, but this is just uh, an accessory, so it's no big deal. That'll work. Okay, now to change the modes of the joystick, you can change the LED mode, which right now is always off, and you can also change the mode of the joystick to either use the X and Y axis or to use the uh, point of view hat. Uh, right now I have it set to the hat. To change it, you're going to activate the switch you just installed. And press up on the joystick and that will change it from one to the other. So switch, joystick, up. Yeah, press up on the joystick and it changes. Now to change the LED mode, you just reverse those steps. You press up on the joystick and activate the switch. So now 
first mode is on until you activate the joystick. Second mode is off until you activate the joystick. Third mode is always on. And fourth mode is always off. Now after three minutes of inactivity, it will do a slow uh, pulsing pattern, which is really cool, uh, no matter which setting you have it set to. And the reason I switched it to the um, hat mode is because in main UI, I could not get the um, axis mode to um, work my menus. But when I set it to the hat mode, no problem. Um, what I was doing is just using the trackball actually, which works as a mouse. So that works too, but I, I like having the, uh, the joystick to select games. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know.